scramble hardcore. Where you die, you lose. Yeah, I, I felt I can't get. No, this can't be how I go out. Okay, okay, this is for science, people. Let me take this off for a half a second. No, I'm dying. I'm dying. In my hands, I hold the very power of evil itself. That's right, guys. I have a chaos shard, and I knew it was something special. That's why I asked you guys for help to figure out what exactly it does. And oh boy, is this thing powerful. I got this last episode from a random drop from a mob. And this is probably one of the hardest items to get in the draconic evolution mod this is going to allow me to upgrade my chaos armor when i get that far so i am so excited to have this and the chaos armor is very very overpowered okay don't let the, the stats fool you once we get this we will be unstoppable this is going to change everything oh my gosh what's this chaos stabilizer core too there's all sorts of goodies and this chaos shard is going to help us make it even more powerful. And we got the biggest piece too. You could have all these different fragments. But no, I get the full chaos shard. The entire thing. Now the beautiful part about scramble craft is all recipes are scrambled. Meaning you never know how you make the items. And... This item is normally made with nine large chaos fragment, meaning it has a recipe to create it, to craft it. So, once we pick this item up, we should theoretically get the recipe in our recipe book. Because that's the way Scramble Craft works. So, oh, it's right there. Is it going to be an easy recipe or is it going to be hard? It could be any recipe in the entire game. Okay. So, Lapis Lazuli, Draconium Ingot, Golden Chest Plate, and Draconic Core. So, time will only tell if this is going to be an easy recipe or not. But I am just excited to have the recipe nonetheless. Guys, we have this epic item. So, I have decided to make a throne for... You know what? I was going to move that, but I don't think I have a pickaxe yet. That's what item I don't have. So, it's going to stay right there on <laughs> this little pedestal. The pure power of evil. And I found another cool item that I had uh, from last episode, which is this. An Ice Magus Rod, which actually lobs snowballs at it. Uh, mobs, so this is pretty cool, I guess. I don't know what to try it out. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if it's strong, but I was just going through all the stuff I got last episode. I was like, we need to go test that out. There's a little chickity. Chick, chick, chick. I, sh I should be able to throw a snowball at you. Maybe I actually have to have the snowball in my inventory. Oh, that's my glob machine. I was like, why are they just disappearing? Globinator 5000 protects my base at all costs. We're gonna have to harvest the magical power that's inside that chaos shard to defeat my brother, the Cody Maverick, once and for all. And this is Scramble Hardcore. Meaning, if you die, you lose everything. What do you got for me? Are you gonna give me another chaos shard, buddy? Well, well, well. Miss May, Miss May. Oh, no, I'm frozen. Dude, I, I froze. I can't get... No, this can't be how I go out. My scramble craft armor just broke. All I have left is my edge armor. Please, please. I can't do anything. She froze me again. Come on. Come on, let me out. Okay. Oh, I got her. Dude, I hate fighting her. All my scramble craft hardcore armor is gone. Thankfully, I have the end armor helmet, which is unbreakable. And the draconic necklace of shielding. This is like what's stopping a lot of this damage. So that's why I'm not taking a lot of damage because we got that very overpowered amulet last episode. That was scary though. If for some reason the amulet stopped working or my Garmer helmet stopped working, I don't know what would happen. What the heck? This thing works as shears? What? Okay, this is actually awesome because saplings are randomized and you don't always get the saplings. Sometimes you can get some really cool items. You can actually get some injections from leaves that's usually one of the best better ways to get a random injection which will give us superhero powers uh this is exciting or it's just like fast leaf break on no no it's gonna be the sword 
Wow, that is really fast. I ended up getting an exosuit chest plate, but it's uncharged. You know what? I get weird because I got nothing else. <laughs> oh. oh, Cody's still calling me an idiot. Did you guys see that? All right, let's go home. He wants me to sleep. You're welcome, idiot. Ah, oh, dude, I can't believe him calling me an idiot. He's the idiot. Just because he wanted me to sleep in my bed. Honestly, I probably just made a huge mistake. If he wanted me to sleep that bad, there was a reason for it. Maybe he was, like, fighting something or just a ton of mobs near him and he was going to die. Uh, maybe I should have slept what he asked. Because I was, I was killing some monsters, too, you know? I was enjoying the nighttime uh, style mobs. Yeah, screw him. If he ever says it again, I'm not sleeping. All right, should we take on Soldier 76? Just don't freeze me like your friend May. There we go. Soldier 76 token. No, I should probably start collecting all the uh, Mind Watch armor sets. So, if I remember right, I have to craft this. And then I get, yeah, the, I get the rifle. So, for some reason, this mod's recipes never get, oh, dude, it's me again. It's me again. I hate you so much, May. What was I saying? Yeah, this mod's recipes, for some reason, are immune to getting scrambled. Oh, she's hiding. Come out, come out, wherever you are. This is pretty fun, it's actually fighting her with, like, a weaker weapon, too. Don't reload, reload. Dead. What the heck is that? I just got this from a drop. Okay, we need to see what the heck this is. A stone Lilith statue from Bewitchment. That just looks awesome. We're going to definitely have that at our base. <laughs> oh, speaking of base, guys, this is obviously just a little temporary base. What do you guys want me to build for, like, an actual base? That would be cool. All right, let's come outside. We're going to put this. Should I put it on top of the building? No, let's put it. You're going to be the protector of this here house, okay? Yes. Yes, you are. You and this little globinator. Yep. Oh, and guys, guess what? We have the carry-on mod so we could like lift stuff like this boop, 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 boop. and actually i could make sure it's the right way there we go that's one of my favorite mods of all times it's so simple it just lets you pick up everything but it's so nice all right i don't know if we could pick up hostile mobs that's what i'm trying to do right now uh there is a config setting that will let us change that oh no i picked up this guy he's a hostile come here are uh, you just gonna get him just right I can't get that big boy though. The reason I wanted to grab him was for science, okay? We're gonna go take him over to my base. I wanna know if the Globinator would kill him if I'm holding him. And it doesn't! Interesting. What if I put him down next to it? Yeah, you, you instantly got globbed. Okay. Well, good to know. Uh, I, I wanna do some testing, guys, because I am a little concerned. I don't think I'm taking any damage whatsoever. Maybe I'm invincible. Is this the case? Like, you can see my golden hearts go down, like, but they get instantly regen. So, barring, like, an attack from Cody with an overpowered weapon, because I still think I could die if something had enough attack damage. I think I'm pretty good against these mobs. Let me just check. Is it the end armor helmet, or is it the amulet? So, come over here to Bobbles. Let's take off the amulet first. I'm pretty sure it's the amulet that's like, giving me all the power. Wait a minute. Maybe it's not. Okay, okay, this is for science, people. Let me take this off for a half a second. No, I'm dying, I'm dying. Look it, look at my health. I put that back on, I'm invincible again. Did they buff the end Garmer set? Hold on, hold on. I think they buffed it. I think they buffed the Ed Garber stuff, dude. What the heck? You That never used to be that good. Like, you couldn't just tank damage from all mobs. I don't know. Let me try with just the necklace. Okay, let's go back out, find something to kill me. So right now I have just the necklace on, and I'm taking damage. What? Wait, this That was for science, okay? Now you must die for science. Sorry I'm a day late with this video, by the way, guys. I am pretty sick right now and i had to take a break from recording yesterday but don't worry i'm gonna power through it today you're gonna get this video i promise can we get a thousand likes for the sick cracking please please i beg you 
So that little test was interesting, though. That proved that the end armor is actually what's giving me my protection when I thought it was that necklace the entire time. So barring something like this Sword of the Wyvern, which is 22 and a half attack damage, something to this caliber can probably still kill me because I do take the damage. It just regenerates so fast. So if Cody, like, hits me three, you know, three or four times pretty quick with, like, a high attack damage thing i think i'm still going to die so we have to be very careful about that i'm sure there's some very strong bosses and stuff that could kill me too but i'm gonna have to look at the configs because something doesn't seem right with this helmet being that op and since me and cody both have it we're both this strong right now which i don't know i don't know maybe maybe we should uh you know agree to ban this item maybe this is too overpowered for the scramblecraft hardcore Scramble hardcore. Where you die, you lose. You know, because I want to be afraid of monsters more than I am right now. Let me know what you guys think about uh, maybe coming to an agreement with Cody that if we wear this, we lose. Oh my, we could probably get a mod made where if we equip this, you get banned. And you, that's like another way to lose. Like if you, oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. <laughs> if Cody agrees to it, that is. I don't know. I, I kind of think like our chances are better than him if we both get rid of it. One thing's for sure, I need to find a way to fly pretty soon, whether it be an injection or a cloud pet. Uh, I'd, I'd really love to get a cloud pet or an anti-gravity machine. There's all sorts of different things that allow us flight. Um, but definitely the cloud pet would be my first choice because that's the most overpowered. Right now, we're just going out and about to try to find like a dungeon or something, something cool. What are you, my friend? That was one creepy looking monster. Uh, yeah, I'd really love to find a dungeon. I don't have any of our uh, recipe scroll, like default recipe scrolls or uh, do party scrolls. I have no scrolls whatsoever. So to get my hands on some of those, I'd really like to find some dungeon chest. Not really a dungeon, but we found some sort of structure. Uh, can we get inside though without having a pickaxe? That's a great question. Looks like we can. Oh, it is a dungeon. Look at the spiral staircase. Oh, man, this is sh this should be fun. If you guys want to see me explore this dungeon, comment down below. Hashtag do it if you want to be the next fan of the day. I don't have sides yet, so I'm going to have to figure out something else how to add a fan of the day into this series. But I'm actually going to end the episode here because I'm so sick right now. I'm sorry, guys. And remember, please try to get this sick crack into 1,000 likes. I'd really appreciate that.